Hey everyone, happy launch day. Sketch here from 343 Industries, coming to you live from Studio D at the Xbox campus. And today I'm joined by senior producer, Michael Farney. And we're gonna talk a little bit more about Halo, the Master Chief Collection. Welcome to the show, Farney. Hey Brian, thanks for having me. I, I see uh, while we've been working from home here, we've gone on a little bit of a hair adventure, right? I'm got this going and you've got yours going down to your shoulders now. Yeah, I've got the latest in pandemic fashions yeah, here. I think um, we're, we're matching in different ways. Yeah, this is exciting. Console launch, here we are. I'm in like the host seat, which I'm awesomely honored to be here. Putting you in the hot seat now as my guest. And we're gonna it. talk a little bit about MCC, right? Yep. So we have a lot of great stuff coming to the Master Chief Collection next week. But before we get into that, I thought it might just be helpful just to take a quick minute and reflect back on this whole journey for folks who maybe haven't been following along on all the work you and the team have been doing. Yeah, so a few years ago, we started by updating for the Xbox One X. Um, and uh, from there, we've just continued to improve upon MCC kind of across the board. Our latest and greatest endeavor is taking everything out on PC. Um, and then continuing to improve and support all the consoles along the way. Um, so over these years that we've been working on this project, which really goes back to 2014, then to 2018, um, I think one of the biggest pieces of this whole journey is the relationship and partnership we have with the community and our Halo Insider program. Could you talk about that just a little bit? Yeah, our partnership with the community has been absolutely vital. Uh, flighting has been the key to our success this past year, uh, getting builds out early, uh, getting feedback, iterating on that, and just really involving the community along the way to help us get these games out has just proven to be so exceptionally vital. Yeah, and the Halo Insider program, for those that don't know, is open to anyone that's interested and wants to be a part of helping to make the Halo franchise the best it can be. Uh, anyone that opts in at HaloInsider.com will have the opportunity to get hands-on with our work in progress development builds, things like alphas and betas, and periodically even send out some surveys and ask for feedback on everything else to do with the Halo franchise. So I encourage anyone that wants to be a part of the franchise, go to HaloInsider.com and sign up today. We've got a lot more good stuff coming. So, uh, Farney, at this point, I think it's safe to say that MCC, as it exists today, is an entirely different game than what launched back in 2014. Yeah, uh, dramatically different, right? We've added a ton of PC native features this year, um, a ton of new things, content, and everything to all platforms as well. Um, but the best is yet to come. So, of course, that is one of the main things you want to talk about. Speaking of the best is yet to come, yesterday we were happy to announce that Halo 4 uh, the last title to jump into the collection on PC will come out next Tuesday, which is also the same day that we'll be releasing a series of updates to add new features for owners of the Xbox Series S and Series X. Could you talk to us a little bit more about what's part of this next-gen update? Yeah, we are super excited to use all this learning from these past couple years and leverage these new consoles, right? So on Series X, players will be able to play at 4K, 120 FPS. And then for the S, uh, it'll be 1080 at 120. Um, we've also increased um, draw distance across the board, added enhanced graphics, and, um, and added a view model adjuster for the Series X and X. We hope to be able to bring that to older consoles as well over time, but for now, we're gonna go with that. And then of course, just extremely fast loading times, right? Across the board, it's been really amazing to see. I think we're seeing a lot of that in the initial videos from the unboxings over, over the last couple of days. It's been great to see MCC utilizes that as well. Yeah, it really does. The whole package makes it just feel like a new, fresh, modernized version of these classic games. You know, and of course, um, all of this comes on top of the work that you've already referenced over the last years, which includes HDR as well. So not just Halo 4, uh, safe to say all the games in MCC look and play better than they ever have before. Um, so, Farney, I know we have a couple other, I think, key things we want to make sure people are aware of that are coming as part of this update next Tuesday. Um, what else are you excited about that you want us to be aware of? So, behind all the game releases, we've also been working on a ton of new features and content for the games. One of the big features coming out alongside Halo 4 is crossplay. Um, players will now be able to play together across both PC and console, um, however they choose more or less. Um, on top of that, we've got multiplayer and firefight support as part of crossplay at launch. Yeah, so I mean this, I don't want to understate how big of a deal this is, because we know the Halo community has been asking for this for a long time, right? Long so this time. is like the first time that we have 
what's going to be close to, what, 18 years of different Halo title, titles playable over two different console generations and PC and Steam, no less. So um, huge amount of work I know went into that. I'm super excited to kind of unify our community for, for what's going to be an exciting new, new chapter for MCC. Um, I know you guys have also looked at ways to sort of check some other boxes for player feedback, including offering some more choice to the types of experiences players will have online. Yeah, so along with Halo 4, um, one of the long-standing requests is for people to be able to select better options for their server region. Um, so we're launching that uh, with Halo 4. And then we've also got input-based matchmaking, which has been a huge request since we started our PC journey. Um, so now players will be able to kind of choose what uh, input device they want to play with and play against. And we're offering a variety of options for players to, to go through that road. Well, as you know, we've been experimenting and testing out these features in our most recent flight. You can say firsthand, it's feeling great. It just really kind of just brings this larger world together. Yeah. I'm very excited to get that out next week. But also don't want to sleep on the fact that Halo 4 is coming back. It's returning to form, and uh, there's a lot to look forward to there as well. Yeah, Halo 4 just looks, feels, and plays amazing. Um, it just is almost like a new game across the board. Um, We've added cool things like per piece armor customization and a bunch of different options in there as well. Yeah, and I think for Forge fans would be happy to know that with the move to next gen and to PC, I know the team's been able to add uh, new objects to Forge, so to create new maps and modes, uh, increase that budget as well, add some new quality of life improvements. So really, even more than graphics, I think you're gonna see improvements across the board, some of which I didn't even expect you guys were able to pull off. Yeah, that's right. Again, going back to all the learning from this past year, we've been able to really push the limits in what we've been able to do with Halo 4, bring a lot of that stuff in. Like you said, increase some Forge limits, bring all the good stuff that we've done with some of our previous releases in as well, um, and just really push the boundaries. And we're obviously going to continue to support and grow through all the games uh, now that we're done with the, the last game in the collection. There's just so much more. And one more thing I think would be interesting just for folks who may not be aware is in addition to all these great new features and improvements, there's been no shortage of new content being injected back into these games um, along with uh, a brand new progression and sort of seasonal model, if you will. Season 4 starts next week, correct? That's right. Uh, we are launching Season 4 alongside Halo 4. Um, players are going to get a ton of new cosmetic weapon skins, armors, vehicle skins, name plates all kinds of goodness in there. And then we, yes, we are leveraging our new challenge system that's been out for a few months now to help players progress and gain uh, some of these rewards. Well, you know, I'm, I'm a little bit biased, but I think it's an amazing piece of experience. It's all the Halo Classic experiences brought to life bigger and better than ever before. I can't wait to jump back into Halo 4 and kind of relive it for the first time, if you will, next week. Um, Farney, thanks for stopping by. But before we go, just to give you a chance, any final last words or shout outs? Yeah, for me, I just want to give a huge thank you to our publishing team. We could not have done this uh, without everybody that we currently have on the team. It's just been an amazing journey. All our internal partners and our main team, um, our external partner, Sabre, has just been an amazing partner to work with over this past year. And then, of course, the community, right? We would not have had the success that we had this year without the involvement of the community. We are extremely appreciative and really look forward to what we've got coming next year and continued cooperation between our two groups. Yeah, I, I couldn't agree more, especially as the community person here at the studio. Um, really just want to also extend a thanks on behalf of the whole team and studio as well, not just to the Halo insiders and everyone that's been giving us feedback and helping to play along the way, but just the Halo fans across the world who have been passionate and vocal and giving us feedback and really, I think, driving the whole studio to deliver the best experience as possible. So, Halo the Master Chief Collection is available today. You can pick it up on Xbox, it's on Xbox Game Pass, the Microsoft Store, and Steam. And then the next gen update and all these new features that we've discussed today, along with Halo 4, will all be dropping next Tuesday, November 17th. Thank you, and we hope to see you online next week.